Hi, I'm Monica Sancio, energizing you to be fit, healthy, happy, and free. In this video, I want to share with you two or three of my favorite exercises to work the legs and glutes using tubing. Yes, I have one here, and it should be the right resistance for you. It could be very light, depending on where you are, whether you're doing rehab, perhaps you're a beginner, or maybe if you're advanced, you'd use something stronger than this. But in any case, I want to show you the right technique in order to get great glutes, great legs, by just using this without needing to go to the gym. Isn't it great? You can do these exercises at home. I want you to stand like this with your knees a little bit flexed, although you could extend them as long as you use your core. It's all relative. Nothing is actually injuring except what you do in a way that is against your body's natural movements. So for me, it's natural to stand here as long as I use my core, you see? But I can uh, flex my knees for more safety, and from here I want you to raise your arms as much as possible and just sit in a squat. Okay, we're going to squat down and then up. Very, very simple. That would be level one. Level two is a little bit higher where your hands are at the level of your shoulders and you're going to squat down all the way in order to have your thighs parallel. Okay, can you see my thighs parallel? That's the idea. Thighs parallel to the floor to the ground, to the earth, to the mat. <laughs> Fantastic. And the level three is much deeper, okay? That's where you actually go down like in a goblet squat and then you come up all, all the way up. Okay, inhale when you go down and exhale when you come up. And let's make sure that our back is straight. Inhale and exhale when you come up. I want you to do 8 to 12 of these and move from one set to three or four sets. How's that? And the next exercise I want to show you is a lunge. We all like to do lunges with our own body weight, which is a lot of good for your legs and glutes. But when you use tubing like this, it makes it more challenging and it makes it interesting too. Let's just focus on the legs, but of course you could also incorporate shoulder moves. I'm going to do the typical lunge where you have one leg front, the other one back. The distance is approximately the distance of your hips. We're going to bend or flex both knees. And I want you to separate them enough so that you are comfortable lifting your heel to the back and having your body weight in the middle. Not to the front, not to the back, but in the middle. So abs in. <laughs> and then we're going to use the resistance of the tubing to make it challenging to come up. So level one would be a very light resistance and level two would be way more. In, in fact, you could have the, <laughs> the, the tubing above your shoulders like this. Inhale and exhale, or there's many ways. Another one that I like to do is here, and exhale. Inhale and exhale. You see, I almost touch the mat. Very, very simple, very easy. You can do it. I know you can. So no excuses, zero excuses. <laughs> and now we do the opposite. So I like to work bare feet, especially if you're at home. It's really comfortable and it's so good for you. So here, level one, where you go down slightly and level two and three are lower. This is harder. So level three is all the way down. And you can also separate your legs more. And then you extend. Okay, let me not give you my back. Let me show you <laughs> once more. I don't know how many we did, but that's the idea. That you feel like it's really a challenge to come up in that lunge. Wow, with the tubing. And then you could also emphasize flexing your glute. And that way, <laughs> you're going to be working more <laughs> your legs. The one in the front, the one in the back. Like I said, 8 to 12 reps, 1 to 3 sets, should be enough, but you can also practice and have fun with it. Uh, you can watch my other videos where I have Tabata's interval training of 4 minutes, really effective. So you can do 20 seconds, even pulsing like this, just pulsing, 20 seconds, and then in the next round of the Tabata, you do it on the other side like this. Same thing with the squats, you could squat here and modifications as such as having your feet together. It's also really good. Inhale and exhale. And then you can do the pulses too for 20 seconds. These are great ideas I consider that I like to mix up in my workout so they're fun, they're efficient, and they're effective, which is the idea. And of course, I want to remind you to make it an awesome day or night. 
and be your best in body, mind, emotions, and spirit. Okay, I send you my love. Thank you so much for subscribing, liking, sharing. Leave your comments below, and I'll see you next time. Monica Sanchez signing out. Peace.